Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have a really fun video. We're going to be doing the Disney tag. So I've watched a ton of these videos on YouTube and I've seen like just Disney questions and then I've seen just like DCP slash CEP questions. I decided to kind of mash a bunch of them together and I came up with 23 questions, which is a lot. So like, let's see if I can get through all of them. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, question one, favorite princess. This is going to be a toss up between Belle and Rapunzel. Belle is just so like elegant and beautiful. Whereas I love Rapunzel because it's just so fun and like she's like so pretty and, and the lantern scene is just so visually stunning. So this one's definitely gonna be a toss up between Belle and Rapunzel. Question two, favorite prince. This is going to go to Flynn Rider or Eugene from Rapunzel, obviously. Um, he's just, that smolder, it gets you. He's such a cutie, I love him. So favorite prince is definitely him. Um, number three, again, I love Rapunzel. Tangled is my favorite movie. Favorite couple for number three is going to be Eugene and Rapunzel. The lantern scene, like I just, I can't get over it. It's the best scene I think in Disney history. Can I say that? It's my favorite. It's so beautiful. Um, moving on, number four, least favorite princess. I think this is gonna have to go to Merida. I love Brave. I think it's a very pretty movie and she's super sweet. I love meeting her in Magic Kingdom, but it's just not my favorite. And I think it was kind of an afterthought placement movie, but I mean, she's still cute. Um, number five, favorite animal is definitely gonna have to be Marie from the Aristocats. She is such a sweetie. She's so cute. I love meeting her hands down i stand marie every single day of the week number six favorite pixar movie i think it's going to be toy story 4. i saw it when it came out last year and i cried at the ending like it's just such a good movie and it ended the series off at a really good place i think i know a lot of people were like why do you need to make a fourth and all this stuff but i think it did they did an amazing job and I loved it. And like I said, I cried. It was so good. Um, number seven is fave Pixar character. I think character wise, I have to give this to Dory. She's just so funny and like, I, she cracks me up. And you know what? Just keep swimming is one of my favorite quotes ever. So I'm, yeah, we're gonna give that one to Dory because she's a cutie. Fave original slash fab five character. I always say Fab Six and include this pretty lady right here, Daisy, because she always gets excluded and it's not very nice. Um, but with that being said, my favorite original character is Donald. Meeting Donald in the Mexico Pavilion in Epcot is one of my favorite things to do. He's so funny. He's, he's just super fun to meet. So definitely got to give that one to Donald. Number nine, favorite villain. Um, I'm gonna give this one to Corella DeVille. She has a like, classy elegance about her meanness um, and I think she's just very entertaining and I've always wanted to meet her. So I'm very excited to do a Villains After Hours this, um, this summer on my program and hopefully get to meet her, fingers crossed, or even maybe at a housing event, but she's the best. Number 10 is what's your favorite park? My favorite park is hands down Magic Kingdom. There's just something so magical about um, Magic Kingdom that I'll never get over and it's the best. You, I could spend every day there. It's what I want my home location to be um, and I'm probably gonna spend a majority of my time there this summer. I have to try and focus on going to all the parks but like I know I'm gonna always wanna go to Magic Kingdom. Number 11, I, 11. Um, Favorite voice actor you'd like to meet? Ellen, <laughs> can I say that? Dory, Ellen, I love Ellen. She's so funny and so kind and I love Dory. So I think that would be really neat to meet her since I love Dory. Um, number 12, favorite Disney memory. Now this one is hard because there's a lot of them and I'm like racking through my brain now trying to think of one that like really got me and there's not one that like, genuinely stands out so I'm kind of like I don't know I just think of like small things we might have to come back to that one can we come back to that one I need to think on it I'm not sure 
Hi, so I am from the future. I realized that I never came back to question 12. What's your favorite Disney memory? So I'm going to answer that right now. It's kind of a long story, so I'm gonna try and make it short. Also, sorry I look like crap. I was editing and realized I didn't do this and it's a pretty cool question and I wanted to answer it. So let's get into the story. Um, so basically it's set the scene here for a second. It's uh, 2009, I am nine years old, about to turn 10. It's like middle of June, I believe. And I'm sitting in the living room and my dad's on the computer and he asked me and he goes, what do you want for your birthday? My 10th birthday. And he's like, or he's like, what do you want to do for your birthday? And I'm thinking, and I'm like thinking of all my past birthday parties. I'm like, oh, well we could do this again, or we could do this. And he's like, yeah, those are all good ideas. And he's like, come over here. I walk over to the computer and I look at him and he's like, what would you think if we went to Disney for your birthday? And I was like, uh, that would be the coolest birthday on planet earth. And he's like, okay, cool. Cause we're going to Disney for your birthday. And I was like, pardon me. You're joking. I think at this point I had been four, six, eight. I think it had been three or four times at this point. So this was like, oh my gosh, like the most exciting thing to ever happen on planet earth. Um, so I was so excited. So I think it was a couple weeks away at that point. Um, so, you know, we pack up, we go, it's my birthday. We're in magic kingdom. I turned 10. So, you know, did some rides, did some pictures in front of the castle, had a grand old day. And then it's like maybe lunchtime. And my mom's like, okay, well, we're going to go back to the lockers and get like our lunch, which we always did. Cause we packed lunches. We're like, okay, sounds good. So we get back to the lockers and my mom's like, oh, well, I want you to change because we're gonna take some like nice photos. So she takes me to a bathroom and she had brought like a really nice dress and like little cute little wedges and like brushed out my hair and made me look all cute and pretty. And we're like walking through the park and I had no idea what we're doing. And we go to Cinderella's royal table and she's like, surprise, we didn't pack a lunch. We're eating at Cinderella's castle and like 10 year old me didn't know what to do with her life. Um, so that is when I took this photo that I will try and learn how to insert into iMovie on my 10th birthday with Cinderella in Cinderella's castle. And then we ate at Cinderella's royal table. And I think that was the best day of my entire existence besides getting my offer for Disney. So yeah, thought I'd pop in and share that cute little story. Number 13, Disney movie that makes you cry. Bambi. Every single time I sob like a baby. It's just so sad. They didn't have to do it dirty like that. Like it's just really too sad. Number 14 is favorite Disney World ride. Now this one is really hard. Um, <sighs> Flight of Passage, it's just so good. And I only got to ride it once. So I'm really excited to ride it more this summer. But yeah, it's I think it's the coolest. It's just unreal. If you haven't wrote it, you definitely need to. Um, saddest death in a Disney movie. The wife from Up, that gets you. When that song's playing and it goes through their life story and I think Ella, Ellie, Ellie, I'm not sure what her name is. When she, mm. It just, you just know what happens and it's not fun and it's very, very sad. These are now program questions. Number 16, how did you hear about the program? I heard about the program, I think I was 13. I think it was the trip we did when I was in grade eight. We went in April of grade eight. So I was 13 years old and we were in Epcot at the Camp Canada Pavilion and we were talking to one of the girls there and she was actually on the CRP, the cultural representative program. And we were like, oh my gosh, you're from near where we are from. How are you working here? And she kind of told us a little bit about how you can apply in university for a bunch of different programs. And I asked her like, how long is she there for? And she told me she, there's, she was there for a year but you can also do the summer program. And it kind of just stuck in the back of my head that I always knew it was something I was going to do, but like timing never was right. So I decided last year, I watched a couple of my friends do the program. And then I started like looking into like CEP and DCP YouTube and stuff like that. And you get sucked in once you're in the YouTube world of it all. Um, and I decided that I wanted to apply and that it was something that I really wanted to take seriously. 
So I applied in September and definitely one of the best decisions I've made in my entire life because it still doesn't feel real. How was the interview process for number 17? The interview process was pretty easy. Um, it's definitely nerve wracking interviewing for the Walt Disney Company and like thinking of such a well-known company um, but it was very easy and very relaxed. I talk more about it and like I have clips in my last video. So if you want to see my entire application and interview process, you can watch my last video. I will link the card up here somewhere, but that's also just why I'm doing this and it explains everything. So you should go watch it first anyways, but yeah. Number 18, where were you when you got your offer? I was, where was I? Oh yeah. Again, I talk about this in my last video. These questions are probably me repeats, but I was on campus. I was about to write a midterm. I was sitting outside of the lecture hall when they the email popped up and I started crying. But yeah, I was in the middle of campus and everybody saw me cry. So that was fun. <laughs> Number 19, what is your role? I'm so excited about this. I am in merchandise, which was my number one role, which is so exciting because I was really scared I wasn't gonna get it, even though it is one of the highest like slotted jobs like they have the most spots for it but i'm so happy i got it because i can't wait to make some magic and merchandise this summer um number 20 how many roommates do you want i want four to six um i'm actually already met my like room mate the one i'm sharing the room with her name's zoe um so i'm super excited to get to know her more and get to live with her this summer but yeah four to six i think is the best and i want patterson we, it's cute. I don't know what to say. It's just cute. Um, number 21, what are you going to miss the most? Definitely just going to miss my friends and family and my boyfriend. Um, being away from them for three ish months is yeah, just over three months is going to be hard and it's not going to be fun, but I think it's worth it. And you know, you got to jump out of your comfort zone sometimes. So that's what we're doing. And number 22, what's the first thing you'll do? I want to take a picture in front of casting the second I get my blue ID and then I want to watch Happily Ever After and that's that's it that's literally I just that's the day that I'm gonna sob like a baby and it's gonna feel real and I'm not gonna know what to do with myself and the last question number 23 what's the number one thing on your bucket list I think four parks one day or beaches and cream kitchen sink because that sounds the most fun to me so I think one of those two um, and that's all the questions. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for more. I want to do a couple more videos uh, in the next couple months before I can start doing like packing and travel vlogs. But yeah, bye.